During the pass-out ceremony, the district leaders and technocrats showcased the skills and knowledge acquired during the seven days, bringing joy to the occasion as they demonstrated their newfound expertise to General Salim Saleh. Later, General Salim Saleh expressed his disappointment to Stephen Tumwine, the senior development officer in the Ministry of Local Government. By now we should have something to go home with as of tomorrow. Because we brought you UDC. UDC is the biggest investor in northern Uganda. Right now, I think 60% of their portfolio is in northern Uganda. In sugar, cassava, and other starches, I think. In an alarming revelation, Patrick Omona, the council officer of Omoro district disclosed that out of 17 value addition machines, only six are operational at 30%, attributing this to the poor management of the operation wealth creation program in Omoro district. I say that these facilities, the value addition facilities are not connected to the power grid. That how, is the major problem. How much do you need to connect them? Uh, of course that one needs now some other working. We don't, uh, I cannot do that for now. General Salim Saleh even contemplated non certifying the 500 individuals who completed the ideological course at the Northern Uganda Youth Development Center in Labora sub county. And then you are ending this big course with uh, no action plan. And for me, I'm not used to, to passing out people just for the sake of passing them out. After thorough interrogation, the district chairman pointed to power connectivity issues as the reason for the underutilization of the 17 value addition machines. However, Umeme, the power supply company, claimed they had not received any official communication from the district regarding these issues. Beyond the investment centers, of course we have major trading areas. For example, war trading center. So many promises have been made, but once you power that a war trading center, there's a health center, there's a, there's a, there's a school, there's, a church, there's other facilities. When you proceed up to Malaba, which is uh, towards the end of the constraints, there are so many things that can be done once there's power there. So there are things that we can do, there are low-hanging fruits. Those two just need transformers. Acknowledging the challenge, the woman member of parliament of Omoro district, Catherine Lamwaka, promised to address the gaps and work with other district leaders to rectify the situation. We have already resolved as a district that we want to move forward. And we already know that we are a poor district. Our population is poor. 98% is on subsistence farming. I am glad with the recommendations and the directives that you've made here now. That is going to put us to some level. Jeno Salim Saleh highlighted that 95% of farmers in Moro district are engaged in subsistence farming, which adversely affects the district's overall production capabilities.